Hey guys, Mama One here again with build number 25. This one is a weird and funky one. I just went crazy with it, wanted something different. So I did something different. Um, it's a three section house. Of course, you know, you do what you want with it. I believe I got the idea from a photo that I found online. Um, and then I just kind of tweaked it as I went. Um, I don't think it was exactly like this. I think it just got the idea. So I kind of made it, definitely totally made it my own. Um, but uh, the basic concept of it was from some picture that I had seen online. Um, so if you know where this came from, I couldn't find it, I looked. But if you know where it came from, by all means, please do let me know. I'll be happy to share the link. I want to give credit where credit is due as always um, as I go through this if you want to pause the video so that you can get a better idea of the dimensions and whatnot please do so it might be a little bit easier my I try to go through how to build this but sometimes it gets a little nutty and I get a little confused so <laughs> please do feel free to pause it and uh, let's just get into it here so we're going to start with this base one here. It's 13 blocks left to right. I used the block of sunny quartz. Um, if you go up two and over on the fourth one, I have a two block window and then one block, a one block window, a one block and two more block windows either side of the windows I used varnished fencing and above the windows oops I used uh, light gray terracotta shingle slabs um, that's that one wall this first part is gonna be really easy by the way um, the side wall here is gonna be 11 blocks and then if you go up to and over on the fourth one here, you're going to have a two window opening, a one block, two windows with the fencing and the slab. This wall here is going to be 13 wide and five tall all the way around, of course. And if you go to the right side here on the fourth one over, up one you're gonna have an opening for a two wide doorway with the fencing on either side and the slab on top and I did sunny court stairs there's four of them you have two corner stairs and then the two in the middle and then this wall here you have the same 11 blocks that you did on the opposite wall here if you go up two over fourth one, you're going to leave an opening of five for the window with the fencing and the slabs. For the floor, hello, where's the door? I'm so confused. The floor I did light gray terracotta. And the ceiling is the block of sunny quartz which is also going to be the flooring up here. So it's just one block. On the top part, I did the fencing all the way around the edge of this block or the section here that we started with, the little square section. When you're inside, so this is your doorway block here, you go one and left two and you're gonna place your first sunny court stair. And there's one, two, three, four stairs going up. So once you reach the top stair, you have this block here, or actually no, from the top stair here, you're gonna go over one, two, and then that's the sec one, second one, you have another stair and stair. So we'll work on this part here now. And you're gonna have one, two, three, four stairs again. On either side of the double staircase, you're gonna do the light gray terracotta, just going one, two, two, one. 
and then the fencing on the top there just for aesthetic purposes. I did the same thing down here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I forgot to mention the light gray terracotta just staircased up and I just blocked it in completely and blocked it in. So if we go back upstairs, okay. So now you have your stairs laid and you have your terracotta laid there. So from this stair, I'm sorry, I can't maneuver well. I'm a Nintendo girl, I'm not used to uh, <laughs> keyboard. Anyway, so from this stair you go one, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna go 13 this way. And then under here is 11 blocks. And then you'll do another 13. And you're going to fill that in with the same sunny block quartz. I'm sorry, block of sunny quartz. So that's your one all the way around. If you go back to where your stairs are, Right above this first block, you're gonna do your light gray terracotta going up three, and one, two, three, four over, and down three again for a two wide doorway. On this far corner from the left side of the stairs, this might get confusing. Okay, from the left side of the stairs, you're gonna go 12 up. You go to this right corner, and you're going to go 12 up as well. And then if you go, uh, 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 how do I want to do this? Okay. So then you go in one more and you're going to have a sunny quartz behind this terracotta. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to go up one, two, three, four, five. On this fifth one, you're going to do inverted stairs all the way over. Yeah, we're just doing this wall here. On top of these inverted stairs, you're going to do the regular stairs of sunny quartz all the way over. On the corner, you're going to have an inverted and regular light gray terracotta shingle stair. I did it as a corner piece just for aesthetic purposes. And if you go from this top stair, you go jet in one, which there should be another block of sunny quartz. I'm sorry, sunny quartz. A block of sunny quartz, yeah. Under this one, behind this stair. So right here, you're gonna do um, the sunny quartz slab, four across, a block, and then four more across and another block. These blocks on the end you have already placed. Then you want to connect this left corner to the right corner with blocks. Above the center block you're going to go one, two, three of terracotta and then do in the center one, which is the third one down, you're going to do the terracotta all the way across. You're going to jet in one from this slab and do sunny quartz blocks one two three four you're going to do five total and that's going to finish off this wall if we go around the right corner here you've already laid down this bottom one and you've already placed this column so let's go ahead and place another column Starting on the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, you're going to have six, seven total sunny block quartz. One, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one, you have an inverted stair and then a regular stair above it. You jet in one, you're going to do a sunny block or sunny quartz slab. This block has already been placed from this side. So that's already there. So you have this column and you're gonna place on the third one over, you're gonna do the sunny quartz slabs. 
You're going to have 10 slabs going across on the last block here. You're going to have one, two, three, four stairs. Underneath them, you're going to invert them and go one, two, three, four. Above this stair here, you're going to place a sunny block court, or God, I keep calling it that, the block of sunny quartz here. And you're going to carry those, that's this one here, all the way over to here. Then you're going to have your inverted stair that you placed here already. You're going to carry that all the way over to connect. And then your regular stair, you're going to carry that one over all the way to connect. The corner piece above here is going to be an inverted and regular light gray terracotta shingle stair. And let's see. Where are we at? So above here, you're going to place one, two blocks. Did we do that one? No, we didn't. Two blocks. And then you're going to have your shing or your slab all the way over to your first column here in the corner. And then you're going to place on the exterior one, one, two, three, four, five regular stairs, and underneath it, you're going to invert the stairs where the top one is a block, and you connect that to the other side. So you're going to end up with a giant window opening here, starting with 13 on the bottom, and then staircasing up so that you fill it in. And you're going to fill in as well here. So that's that wall. This one isn't too difficult to, to figure. Um, you've already laid your base down here, the bottom one. So there's your width. So these stairs, everything you did on this side here, everything you did on this side with the staircasing and the slabs and everything, you are going to do on this side. So match those two sides up and you'll be just fine. Even if you missed one or two things, doesn't matter as long as you do it on the other side as well, you'll be fine. Um, so then the only thing left for here for you to do is to carry the inverted stair and the regular stair with these corner pieces over, fill it in with the glass, And then you're going to add this stair. You're going to carry it over and fill it in with the glass. So that takes care of that part. I'm going to go inside now. Ah! Okay. So you come in. And there's an upper part. So you come in. Here's your doorway. You have one block, two, three, blocks and then one two three is that four so you come in you have one two three and then one two three four fifth one you're going to place a stair and you're going to need to come around so you have two stairs and a block turn left two three four stairs and then Outside, on the outside of the stairs, <clears throat> excuse me, you have your doorway, one, two, three, four. You're going to do the light gray terracotta, and then one, two, three this way. Go up one and go two. Place one and come out. Place one above and come out. This floor has already been laid. Now you have your stairs. We'll stop there for a second. If you come straight in through the doorway, so here's the left side of the door. You've placed this glass here and straight in where this glass is, you leave an opening of three. 
come out one and do two high, leaving an opening for a doorway here. We'll get to that in a minute. So once you get to the top of the stairs, the second stair down, you're going to do the block of sunny quartz as your ceiling. So you're going to fill all this in with the sunny quartz block. Above that, you're going to do the light gray terracotta, and that's going to be your floor for up here. All of that has been laid already. The glass has already been laid. Fill in whatever gaps you need to, doesn't matter. Um, but the glass is already there, and the sunny quartz blocks are already there. So the only thing left for you to do up here is to add the ceiling for the light gray terracotta. And then I did a fence around the staircase so I didn't fall down. So we'll come back downstairs and we're going to come up to these stairs here. So if you're looking at the stairs you just finished for this section, looking at those stairs, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then over one, two, and you place your stair too wide and it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six stairs up, staircasing the light gray terracotta on either side, doing the fencing. And we're going to concentrate on this wall here first. Second stair down, you're going to have an inverted stair going over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Above that, you're going to do regular stairs all the way to the corner, or all the way. And then on the corner, you have your light gray terracotta stairs. On the right side, one inverted, one regular stair, and then your corner pieces. Attached to the top stair, you're going to have the light gray terracotta, which is going to be your floor. Above that, you're going to do the sunny quartz. You'll go over eight. From here, you have your second one is a two window, two blocks, two high window, and then three blocks with the fencing and the slabs. You also want to do this side with the light gray terracotta on the side of the stair and sunny quartz it's going to go up one two three four total and you're going to do the fencing in the slab so that's that wall you're going to do basically the same thing on this side you're going to have it's going to be nine wide and then you're on the third one you're going to have your window two blocks and then another window ending with three blocks and then the fencing in the slab. You're going to carry the same inverted and regular stair design you did here around here to the corner. Same thing with the stairs this way. Same thing with the blocks and the windows. And then this side is a little bit different. Uh, you're going to have two, you're going to have one inverted stair Above it, the two, you're going to leave an opening. Under this second stair, you're going to do your light gray terracotta, come down two, over one, down two, and then over one, two, three. We're going to stop there for a second. Um, here's your floor, the light gray terracotta. You have your one stair. In front of this light gray terracotta, you're going to do your regular stair. You're going to do inverted stairs under it and then a light gray terracotta under this one here. And then you have your windows and your doorway. Your ceiling in here is going to be the sunny quartz. So that's going to be all the way around. And then I did aesthetic purposes. I did the light gray terracotta coming in one and then the slab coming in one. 
to finish it off. So there's that. The stairs coming down off this door is one, two, three, hello, one, two, three, four stairs, and then a slab. You come around the corner and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stairs. And you're gonna staircase your light gray terracotta on the side of the stairs. Same thing here, staircase it, staircase it. Staircase, staircase, staircase. With the fencing on the top of each one. Under this block here, you're going to do the fencing down as a post to hold up the build. You don't have to do that. I just did. Um, same thing on this side. And on these two corners here as well. At the bottom of these stairs, if you go from the stair, you go one, two, three of spruce wood planks and then one, two, three, four and then you'll add two more back here and you'll carry that out to here which is one, two, three more past this front doorway. So that's that section. Now the other one we have left is to get down to the pier. And this one's fairly simple, I think. So from the doorway, it's gonna be three wide. And then 13 long, coming out this way. And then you're gonna have three wide stairs. And then three blocks of sunny quartz is gonna bring you down to one and you'll come down one, two, Hello, one, where's my first stair? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stairs down to build your um, pier. And then I just did the fencing all the way around so you don't fall off the staircase. And I left it simple. I didn't do the blocks on the end. I just did the fencing. So it looks kind of like uh, the fence is just floating there, which actually looks kind of neat. And then I did fencing to hold this part up with the block of sunny quartz down here on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful. The thing with these blocks is that you can tell if I stop here, you can count pause the video and sit here and count how many blocks there are, which I've done that with a lot of videos and a lot of pictures, and it makes it much easier to figure out. So if you see me just stopping here for a second, that's why I'm doing that so that you have time to pause the video and you can see exactly what the dimensions are, what it's supposed to look like, um, and be able to figure it out on your own if my instructions are a little convoluted and crazy. Um, at least you can get a good idea. So. If you like the video, please do leave a like. Um, if uh, you have any questions, comments, suggestions, constructive criticism, I am happy to read and listen and uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you wanna see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I know I don't have very many videos up at this point, but I am working on getting over 300 videos up. So. Hopefully you guys will stick around and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye.